New information tonight in the death of a Clinton woman reportedly shot to death by her husband. Thanks for joining us. I'm Margaret Ann Carter. And I'm Byron Brown. Terrence has a night off. Police say that the victim may have asked her husband to do it. WJTV 12 Shay O'Connor has more on the story. A gruesome scene at Woodlands Rehabilitation and Healthcare Center Tuesday night. That's when Clinton police say they responded to a report of gunshots at a nursing home. Officers arrived and immediately located the suspect, took him into custody without incident. Uh, the victim was located and began to receive medical attention. The victim is identified as 70 year old Rebecca Ballinger. Clinton police say it was her husband, Thomas Ballinger, who shot Rebecca with the 38 caliber revolver. Wednesday, he was charged with murder. Lieutenant Josh Frazier with Clinton Police Department says there was no altercation. In fact, Rebecca may have asked her husband to take her life. It's, they were married. It was described to me last night. Uh, they were each other's shadows. I believe they cared for each other a lot. But there's some indication that uh, the victim made statements that she didn't want to live like that. Rebecca had been a patient at the nursing home since November. That's when she suffered a stroke. Clinton police say Thomas Ballinger would frequently visit his wife and had become a familiar face with the nursing staff at the facility. They're all in shock. Uh, we spoke to some nurses last night. They've gotten to know the Ballingers over the last month. Um, knew them as good people, um, both of them. And I think this is a tragic situation for all parties involved. Clinton police saying the Ballingers had been married over 40 years. Lieutenant Josh Frazier says it is the saddest case he's ever worked. For now in Clinton, Shay O'Connor, WJTV 12.